Hi, Tammy C. Walker here coming to you with another video, how to get a job in 2019. Just so you know, I'm a life coach, therapist, social worker. And thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you have not, please subscribe, hit like, let's go. Number one, you have to start off with that great resume. One to two pages, keep it concise and clean. Now they do have fancier versions where you can add your picture, so you may want to do one of those if that's what you like, but you also want to do a clear, clean one, chronological style. You can do contemporary. Word has a lot of great templates on there, so you can use that. But you definitely want to keep it one to two pages. That's a must. And use your last 10 years for the more seasoned worker. If you're younger, that's great because then you will have a shorter one anyway. Put your strong points on there, your skills, your achievements, your education, and brag about yourself. Do bullet points and show what you've done for that former employer. Cost savings, um, rolling out different versions of software, whatever you've done, brag about yourself. Okay, also, number two, you want to do a cover letter. Be enthusiastic in that cover letter. Again, selling yourself, your achievements, whatever you've done for that company, because at the end of the day, the new employer is like, why do I want to hire her? Why should I hire him? So it's all about selling yourself. Tip number three, what search engine do you use to look for jobs? I use Indeed. It hasn't let me down yet. It's really, really good. So I recommend that one. You can go to an employer's website. If it's somewhere you think you want to work, apply through there. Also, word of mouth, ask your friends and associates who's hiring. No better way than a personal reference. Now, tip number four may be one of my most important ones through this whole video. Jobscan.com, not com, I'm telling you wrong, jobscan.co. Um, this is a website where you plug in your resume on one side, you put in the job that you're applying for on the other and hit the button then it's going to give you keywords to put into your resume so you can redo your resume to match that job and get hired because now they're using the applicant tracking system to pull your resume. Back in the day, they would sift through hundreds of resumes. Now they let the computer do it, but it's all about those keywords. So jobscan.co is free. You do have to pay, I think, after a while, but just use it for free as much as you can it may be worth the investment too. So after that, tip number five is make sure you are prepared for your interview. So you want to know who is this company? What do they make? How long have they been around? Who is the CEO? Are they a Fortune 500 company? Are they international? When you do your homework, you're gonna blow the socks off the hiring manager. Many people don't prepare. So you being prepared, you're already ahead of the game. Make sure you look dapper, a suit for the gentleman or a nice tie, slacks, ladies, nice slacks, a suit jacket, maybe a skirt. Make sure you look nice. I've seen people go casual and I'm like, I wouldn't hire them if they came in my office. So make sure you stand out. Be early, be positive, be bright and chipper. Make sure your mood is on point. I went to an interview of, um, years ago. I was depressed. And my cover letter stated I was energetic, but the CEO that was interviewing me told me I was subdued. I was so embarrassed you all. So after that, I started getting Starbucks before my interviews. Make sure you are excited. If you're getting down from looking for a job, take a break, but make sure you're excited on the day of your interview. Another tip is a handwritten note. After you've gotten your interview, tip number six, Write a handwritten note, put it on a postcard, a blank card, and write, thank you very much for this opportunity. I can bring etc. to the company. Sell yourself. You're going to stand out because nobody does this. So that's a very good tip. Last but not least, there is power in numbers. Try to apply for three to five jobs per day or three to 10 per day. I mean, imagine if you did like 50 jobs a week. Somebody's going to call you. Make sure they're good hits, good jobs. Um, but the more you do, the more chances of you getting hired. I'm leaving all of this information at the last part of my video. It'll be a slide with everything I just said. Um, if you have any questions, my email is going to be 
after the video in the, in the body of the video you can email me a question and i'll be glad to help you that's no problem leave a comment hit like hit subscribe let me know if you get a job and thank you so much for watching it means so much i talk about um everything on this channel now to be honest with you breakups relationship stuff looking for a job how to you know not be depressed anymore I have a varied background. I'm a business major, BA in business, master's in social work. I have a lot of life experience. So this channel is just an informational, energetic, hopefully, uh, and um, encouraging channel. So thank you for watching and subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye. Good luck on your job search.